Okay. So today we will see the Visual Studio configuration. Everybody has a laptop, right? Make sure everyone is uh, in the laptop. You will be doing today practical solution. Okay. So basically Visual Studio is, as we have discussed previously, it's a, it is a IDE. IDE is nothing but some one type of a tool where we can implement our Salesforce, where we can implement a Salesforce. And so it is a latest IDE for the Salesforce development. So let's see the configuration. So first cross verify what is your Windows 10 configuration? Is it a 64 bit or is it a 32, 84? What are the what is the your system configuration? Is it a Windows 10 or Windows 11? Cross verified. So could be a you are uh, maybe you are using the Windows or maybe you are using the Linux or you might be using the Mac. So which are the application is there? Keep it somewhere in the open the notepad. Take the system type. What is the type of uh, your system and what is the operating system? Like is it a Windows 10 or 11 or which type of a configuration you are using it? Everything taking the notes. And then now you have to, once you are done, you need to install the Visual Studio. So Visual Studio installation step starts here. So first download it from the Visual Studio. So this is the link, the code.visualstudio.com. So let me ping you this. Open this link. So when you open the link, if you are on the Windows, directly click on this download for Windows. If you are a Mac, then click on this. Or if it is a Linux 64, then click on this based on the which are the one you are in. So just click on this. So it will be downloaded in the system. Once you are done, it gets downloaded in the system. <laughs> Are you guys with me? Are you guys able to open the link? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So click on this down. Download it, download it to your system. So once it is downloaded, you will be seeing like this, VS code user setup based on your setup. So it will be available. So once the download is done, then you need to click on the installer that is a .exe file. So there is a exe file will be created. So just click on that. It will take some time. So as soon as you click on it, so there is a one first screen will be open up and just say here, I accept the agreement. Just specify the accept the agreement. Priyanka, are you doing it? Priyanka. I'm doing it. Okay. So once it is done, the step to it is going to ask you that do you want to create a icon in the desktop. So just select the create icon in the select in the desktop. And the last one, add to path required shell restart. 
Do not use the other checkboxes. Just use the first one and last one and then click on the next button. Once it is done, it will start downloading it. So here click on this install. So once you click on this install, this is in the third screen. So once you click on this screen, on this screen install, it will start executing it. It start downloading the Visual Studio in your system. So once it is done, then you will have a complete Visual Studio Code Setup Wizard. Finish it, click on the Finish button. Let me know once you guys are done with till this step. Where is the other batches apart from the batch one? You guys have to do it. The development batches, please do it. Um, ma'am, actually, I'm not getting that install option when I'm clicking on the download for Windows. It is uh, showing Windows X64. I am having a Windows uh, system. So user installer, stable and insider, right? Are you able to download it? No, I'm not able to download. Uh, something I'm missing, actually. Uh, so I need to... Uh, there is a something like left left side also or top also right uh, download for windows can you show the which system are you using it uh windows windows 64 bit yeah so just click on this and download it okay and then once you click on the download button Go to the downloads. Then it is showing the Windows 10 or 11. So which one you have, Windows 10 or 11? Uh, I need to check. Open your system and in the go to the this PC and right click here. Properties in setting, right? Yeah. Out. It is showing sixty-four bit operation, so it will be I think sixty-four bit. We know what is the addition Windows specification. Windows ten. Okay. Install. So Navnita, what is this error I'm getting? With this? So uh, when you are installing it, are you getting it, Navnita? Yes, ma'am. I downloaded when I am installing like this. Okay, restart your system. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Priyanka, are you able to do it? Uh, not yet, ma'am. I'm stuck in somewhere. I just let you know what I when I'm clicking on the download, it is showing Windows dot dev RPM Mac. And when I'm clicking on the Windows, it is not giving me any exe file, it is redirecting me somewhere else. Can you share your screen? Yeah, sure. One second. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. So here I am coming actually. Click on download VS Code. Hmm. 
So which one you have, Windows 11 or 10? Windows 10. Okay, click on that download button. Yeah, just click on that. Just click on that. Yeah, I did this one. Then it is coming here. Yeah, wait a second. It is downloading. It is downloading. Okay. So you have already installed it. There is a exp exe file is created in your system. Go to the downloads. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I think I did it, but I was not able. Hmm. Go to the downloads. We are not able to see your screen. In downloads, we cannot see. Okay. I thought this option is there, so it might be giving in some new option. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So how about others? Everybody has installed it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, in the middle, I have a problem, ma'am. Yes. I have installed the uh, VS Code setup uh, .exe file, but after that... Uh... After that, you just need to double-click on it. When you double-click on it, it will ask you this, I accept the agreement. Um, in the Mac also the same thing, ma'am? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Just accept it and it is going to ask a couple of questions. So just check the desktop icon and click on this install. Once it is done, you will be done with the installation. Okay, ma'am, let me try. Okay. So once it is done, so just cross verify where you guys have installed. Whenever you are installing it, while installing, it is going to ask you that which path are you going to install it. Usually, it will be in your C drive, users, whatever the user is, your name is there, your system name. So in that name, App Data Local Programs Microsoft Visual Studio. There it is installed by default. But if you want to change it, you can change it. So once it is done, you can just open this. You will be able to see the Visual Studio blank. You will be able to see the Visual Studio blank. Ma'am, just one question, quick question. While installing, actually, it is asking you first time, what do I want? So what is the best option to choose here? Like, uh, choose the look you want, one shortcut to access everything, which support for all, like, all your languages, open up your code. Which should I use, like? First one, create a desktop icon, and then add to path. I think it's a radio button, so it will be giving me only one option. Uh, no, it's a multiple option. Okay. Okay. So rich support for all uh, languages. Will it be fine? But it is asking the checkboxes. Yeah, checkboxes. Just go for with the default one. Do you think? Okay. What are the default setup? Is there? Just use the default setup. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so once it is done, then we are going, 
this is the Visual Studio that is gets open. So once the Visual Studio is open, so by default, first time you will be able to see like this. This is the screen how you will be able to see. Right, recent you will not have. So recent will be blank. And this is a Visual Studio like this, it will show. And this left side, these are the information. Now in the Visual Studio, whatever the this information is there. So this is the Visual Studio code, editing the evolved. So this is called editor. This is called editor. We will be modifying the code in this editor. And then this is the edit file. The developers can open as many editors. Like you can open multiple editors here. You can open the multiple editors. And the next one we have a left side is called as a sidebar. Now this sidebar is a, it contains the different view. So basically the file explorer and then to assist you to while working on project, what is the file you need to open, everything is available in the sidebar. And after that we have it at the bottom, which is called as a status bar. And then the left side, we have it, these options, like it, this is the one and the, the beside the sidebar, left side, whatever it is available, it is called as the activity bar. So here we have a different activity bars are available. So file search, source control, debug, like a med packages, like if you want to install anything here, so these all which will be available, which is called activity bar. And on top, it is called as a menu bar. Now, once it is done Visual Studio, next thing is that you need to install the other one, which is called as a Salesforce CLI. Salesforce CLI. If you have guys are already done, with the Visual Studio, you need to install the Salesforce CLI, command line interface. This is command line interface. Now you need to click on this link. So I'll provide you this link. Ma'am. Yes. Yeah. In my Mac, like I opened that Visual Studio code, but I don't get the same page. I got all the whatever you have said, but the display is whatever you have shown me. It's not coming up. I just got the VS code, the same buttons and everything, ma'am. Is it okay? Yeah, that should be fine. You are able to open Visual Studio, right? Yes, but... I'm not able to see file new, like the new folder what you have displayed in the because window. you are in a Mac. You are using a Mac. Okay. Okay. Got it. So for Mac, if you scroll, if you hover your mouse on top, then you will see file, all those things. So hover your mouse on top like this, then you will be able to see. So whoever is having a Mac, Mac, not the Windows. So they will not be able to see the default option. These are the one. Right, so this is for the windows, for Mac, that what, everything is a blank, but you will not be able to see this on top. If you want to see the on top, just hover like this on top. Mouse hover should happen. So when you do the mouse hover, then you will be able to see. Okay, I am able to see that um, hover mouse, the file edit selection, but the display is just the plain one, is it? Yeah, that like should I... be fine. Mac will be different, yeah. Okay, okay, got it. So install the Salesforce CLI command line interface. So this is the link. So based on your what are the operator you are using it, based on that, install it, whether it is a 64, 86, based on that also you need to install it. If it is a Windows 64, go for this. Windows 86, go for this. So click on this download. So once it is downloaded. Sorry. So once you have installed it, double click on it and just cross verify whether you are able to 
Like once you download it, just install that file. After the downloading the CLI file, command line interface. Once you downloaded the CLI file, install it. By default, check only the thing is that check what is the path you are using, you are going to use it. So whenever you install the CLI, so where it is going to store you in your system, what is the default path? So just check the default path. Once it is done, just open the command from here. Type in the search window search. Open the command prompt. And then type SFDX. Mom, by installing the uh, CA file, it is asking that uh, select components to install. Three options is there. One is at the rate sales, uh, sales force uh, slash CLI and uh, set a path to and add something local app data. We have to select three options. What are the options it is giving? Just uh, show me that. Give me the screenshot otherwise. Yeah, I have some. Yeah, go with the default option. Okay. It is asking destination folder, ma'am, next. So we have that a default one we have to go or uh, we have to select that visual for that visual uh, studio. Yeah, part which path you have installed the visual studio, better to same use path. the same path. Okay. Ma'am, what do we have to type in a command terminal? In command prompt, you have to type SFTX. Just type the SFTX. If you type the SFDX, you will be able to see the, if it is installed properly, you will be able to see like this version, Windows 64, like this it is, you are going to see. Yeah, yes ma'am. Okay. Hello, ma'am. One small question. Ma yeah. Uh, should we install the Salesforce CLI with the intensive store of projects, ma'am? In the same Sorry, can you repeat? Sorry, can you repeat? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. Should we install the Salesforce CLI where we intend to store our projects, ma'am? Like we create a project and after installing it. So, should we in the, in the same folder Salesforce CLI also? 
or uh, is it okay to install the Salesforce CLI in the C folder and uh, we can store the projects in the DRM folder? We go with the same folder. If you are going with a different folder, then we have to do additional step steps. So okay. go with the same folder. Okay. So if I install Salesforce CLI in the C folder, then uh, my projects are also going to store in that same folder. Then only yeah. it will be worked, right now? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that should be fine, Sushma. That means you have installed properly. Okay, ma'am. Now, after that, now what you can do is search for a environment variables. Search in your system environment variables. So search here environment variables and open that environment variables. And here, click on this environment variables. You will be able to see this screen. In this screen, you have a path. There is a path which is available. Double Man, click on that path. Yeah. But in the Mac, do I need to type path in a command prompt, ma'am? No, you have to type environment variables. Search environment variables. So what you need to do is in the path, Wherever you are the, so just click on this path, edit. After clicking on the edit button, you need to add wherever the Salesforce CLI is installed. So bin folder, you need to add it inside this. So step says, go to the command here, search for it, environment variables. Open the environment variables. Open the environment variables. And then click on this environment variables and here you have a path. Click on the edit. And you should be able to see the Salesforce CLI. What are the SFDX slash bin? What are the folder is there? The installation folder. Take the bin, bin path and add the bin path. In order to add it, either double click on this here or you just need to click on the new button. So if you double click also, it works. Ma'am, when I click uh, environment variables on the command prompt in the Mac, it says a uh, command not found environment. Or if I even clicked on path also, it says command not found path. Anybody else is using the money? Yeah, it is not in the command prompt, I believe. It is directly we have to type in the uh, system only so search for such option and for environment variable. Type the path. The path. Yeah. 
So she she is asking actually uh, for a command prompt. I think she is typing this environment variable. Yes, ma'am. In the Mac, I'm doing in the terminal environment variables. Okay. I think that way you will not get it. So type the path and you see. Oh, even if I type path, it says command not found path. Um, in the not in the command prompt, but when you are searching it, are you not able to find the environment variables? No, ma'am. When I even types environment variables, it says command not found environment. I mean, like I'm typing in the terminal the command prompt. Can you share your screen once? Okay, ma'am. Oh, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. Can you try now? Okay, ma'am. Can you see my screen, ma'am? Yeah, I can see. So, uh, path, uh, can you add it both the side percentages? Okay, ma'am. Path not mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says. Anybody else is using it? We need to give ENV. Okay, so here it is the path it is giving, right? Yes, ma'am. After this, what? So we need to modify the path. Somebody has suggested, right? Ranges for me, or who is that suggested? A V. E N V. Yeah. So can you suggest what is how you guys are doing it? Ma'am, after install, installing SFDX in command prompt, what command we have to run? I'll give you the one link, Sushma. So there it is mentioned clearly. So just find okay. that. Okay, ma'am. Yes, it is right now it is uh, showing as a SF instead of Salesforce. So they have changed the name Salesforce to SF. So that should be fine. 
So if you are able to either SFTX or you will be able to see SF. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. SF bin, that is right. Okay. So once it is added, so now you should be able to go to the Visual Studio. So open the Visual Studio. In the Visual Studio, click on the activity bar. So in the activity bar, you need to click on the extension. So install, after installing it, after the complete setup is done, once the setup is done, environment variable. So go to the Visual Studio and click on this extension icon in the activity. Ma'am, in the environment yes. variable, we have to add something or we have to just check it? I missed something actually. Where? Uh, in the environment variable. In the environment variable, we need to add it. Go to the path, click on the, what are the Salesforce, uh, SF, Salesforce CLI that you have installed it. Yeah. So what are the latest Salesforce CLI you have installed it, that path you need to add it. It will be most probably SF hyper, SF slash bin or SFDX slash bin. So bin will be a folder, I believe. That is the path, URL path. You need to add the URL path here. Okay. Okay. I check it out. So go to the environment variable. In the environment variable, go to the environments. And here you will have a path. Double click on this. And what are the Salesforce CLI you have installed it? Just double click on this. Add that path. Wherever the Salesforce CLI is installed, add that path. So once it is done, Visual Studio, once it is done, click on the extension icon in the activity bar and then search for a Salesforce extension pack. Search for Salesforce extension pack. Search for Salesforce extension pack and click on this. Initially, you will be able to see here install. So click on the install button. Install the extension pack. So when you install the Salesforce extension pack, what will happen? It will install the update Salesforce ELI integration. Apex Interactive Debugger, Apex Replay Debugger, Visual Force, Aura Components, Lightning Web Components, and then Einstein. And the last one is till the seven points, it is going to add it. So when you click on this here, Visual Studio, go to the extension and search for a Salesforce extension pack. Salesforce extension. Pack. So once it is done, so once it is installed, there are nine extensions packed. So there are Apex, Debugger, Aura Component, Interactive Debugger, Salesforce, CLI, Integration, Visual Force, and then Lightning Web Component, Sockel, SLDS, Validator. These all things will be added to the this extension pack. Also install the other one, which is called as the Einstein. So install the other one, which is called as the Einstein for a developer. Einstein for developer, just install this. What is the use of the science stream developer? We will talk after completing the training. But just install it and keep it ready. So 
Not till this point, everybody is done. Sapna, ma'am, I, I, uh, I will miss the flow. So, can you please share this video a little? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Well, in the environment variables already, uh, this path is already exist when I click on the edit button. So it is already present over there. So do I need Did to you install it? Yeah, yeah so I installed it. In the same path, automatically it will be added. If it is automatically added, you need not to do anything. Okay, ma'am. Uh, that's I was confused over there. Actually, it is already uh, the whatever the path uh, it is needed to be there. It is already there, so I don't need to do anything, right, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. If it is already you. added, then you guys need not to do anything. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So uh, ma'am, some confusion to bin folder related to bin folder. Uh, I would like to share my screen. Is it okay? Okay. Uh, in bin folder. Uh, can I share my screen? Just for me. Yeah. yeah, this is the like. Uh, uh, Click on the path. The, this is the environment variable. Click and on the path. Double click. Yeah, edit otherwise. It is already added. Yeah, if it is already added, guys, you don't need to add anything. This so the latest installation, it is getting added automatically. If it is already added, no need to add it again. This bin folder you are saying, right? Yes. Thank you. So once it is done, you know, now what you guys have to do is open the Visual Studio. Now you need to create it. Now first time, Control Shift to P. If it is a Windows, Control Shift to P. If it is a Mac, Command Shift P. If it is a Windows, Control Shift P. If it is a Mac, instead of Control, you should use the command. Command Shift P. So once you are done, so let's say here create a project with manifest. SFDX colon create project with manifest. Select the SFDX colon create a project with manifest. Madam, Once you click on that, you will get a, these three options, standard, empty, analytics. Choose the standard. Choose the standard. Once it is done, now enter the project name. For example, this is LWC project. Do not give the space. Instead of a space, just give a underscore. So LWC project. Click on this hit. Now where do you want to save this project? Choose the project. So in the documents, I have created the VS code. So in this VS code, I wanted to create a project. So what will happen? It is going to create a project in the document VS code LWC project. Right? So this is how you will be able to see the project is created. And when it is created, it is by default, everything is a, there is no data here. No data is available like classes. 
you don't have anything in the classes. Aura, there is nothing is available in the Aura. LWC, nothing is available in the LWC. So it's a blank project it is created. Blank project it is created. Is everybody able to create this folder? The steps are Control Shift B or Command Shift P and choose SFTX colon create a project with manifest. And then once you enter this, once you select this SFDX colon, create a project with manifest. Once you select this, you need to type the project name. What are the project name is there? You need to type the After typing the project name, it will ask you the location where you want to save the project. So select the path where do you want to save the project. Done. Everyone. Till this point, everyone is done. Madam, one small suggestion here regarding this setting the environment variable. Mm -hmm. In the Visual Studio code, there is one command, madam. Let uh, shell command. If you type mm -hmm. control shift, control command shift P or control shift P, there is this uh, shell command. By typing mm -hmm. that, I think we can set the ENV irrespective of the OS that we have. That will be helpful both for uh, Mac OS and OS, I think. Windows. Can you please check that so that uh, because for Windows, the steps are different to set the ENV and for Mac, uh, it might be different. So but environment want... variables are automatically getting added, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It means uh, we can set that. I found that we can set that from the command palette as well. So just thought like yeah. I'll let you know. Okay. So Sushma, it might be already added for you. So just check that. Yeah, but when I try to do um, the create project with manifest and uh, I'm not able to get that, ma'am. I was trying to um, see the document, whatever you have given, and try to add path. I'm not able to figure it out. So initially, it will take time. Okay. For SFDX colon create a project with manifest is going to take time. Okay. If, we, if you are doing for the first time, if if your system is slow, it will take some time for this. Okay. Okay. So let's do one thing guys, till this point, set up everything. The next step is we are going to how to connect the Salesforce, we will see later. So everybody should be able to open up the Visual Studio and they should be able to create a project in their local system. Till this point, everybody should be set up with their all the environment, all the what are the steps which we have discussed, everything we should be done with. Okay. Well, if there are any nice. questions, go through the video again and then set up the everything. Well, one small question, ma'am, actually. Uh, create project with the man first and the create project. Uh, is there any big difference, ma'am? Yes. What is it? So do not use the SFTX create a project. Just use the create a project with manifest. Because okay. there is a difference as you will be able to see. So going okay. further, we'll see that. Okay, thank you. Do not use the second one. The third one, do not use this. Always use the with manifest.
Okay, then. Thank you, guys. So we'll see tomorrow. So by tomorrow, everybody should be setting up the Visual Studio.